Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of City of Illusions by Ursula K. Le Guin. This is a science no uh, science fiction novel from the. Uh, this is a science fiction novel published by. Uh, oh, hello! This is a science fiction novel published by Panther Science Fiction. Uh, I've got a few tabs in there, not a huge amount to be honest, I don't have a lot to say about this book. But I'm going to go through as always and read the blurb, check out my tabs and share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, on a far future earth ruled by aliens, he fought to outwit mankind's masters. Falk was a fully grown man, alone in the dense forest, with no trail to show where he had come from and no memory to tell who or what he was. The forest people took him in and raised him almost as a child, teaching him to speak, training him in forest lore, giving him all the knowledge they had but they could not solve the riddle of his past. And finally he had to set out on a perilous quest to S. Tok, the city of the Shing, the liars of Earth, the enemy of mankind. There he would find his true self and a universe of danger. City of Illusions is the novel Ursula Le Guin wrote immediately prior to The Left Hand of Darkness, the novel with which she won both the Hugo and Nebula Awards. In it she displays all the imagination and storytelling talent of the born science fiction author. So let's go through and check out some tabs. Right at the beginning some people find this guy and obviously he has amnesia which is like my least, or one of my least enjoyed tropes in fiction anyway. But um, there's some interesting like philosoph philosophy here because they're like, well maybe the enemy did this to him and if so why did they do it? Did they do it to send him in to learn what he could about us? Um, or was it a punishment? So, I wonder, said the oldest woman, if he might be a victim, not at all. Perhaps the Shing destroyed his mind as punishment for something he did or thought. Should we then finish their punishment? It would be a truer mercy, Matok said. Death is a false mercy, the oldest woman said bitterly. And we have this main character who looks very different to everyone. And uh, for the first time he realises that a stranger looking into his face would not see the face of a man. Because up to this point he's not been discriminated against. Someone says, fish and visitors stink after three days. I mean, I would say they both stink immediately. I don't have fish in this house, and not many visitors. And then uh, the main character who's lost his memory says, The Shin kept their law and let me live, but they killed my intelligence. Is that not murder? They killed the man I was, the child I had been. To play with a man's mind so, is that reverence? Their law is a lie and their reverence is mockery. I love this line as well. The juniper scented liquor had volatilized his thoughts. He should be thinking that madness caused the man to call himself a king, but was thinking rather that kingship had driven the man mad. Uh, Falk gets asked if he's got any money and he says not only did he have no money, he had never seen money. And though Galactica had a word for the thing, his forest dialect did not. So that's about all I have to say about this one really. There's a lot of stuff about truth in here and it's very much like a, a, a tale about a journey. Uh, and that's kind of why it reminded me of Midworld really. Uh, by, uh, what's his name, by Alan Foster, Alan Dean Foster. But uh, it was alright, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. Um, Ursula K. Le Guin, I've read about four of her books now and like none of them have really blown my mind in the way that say a Philip K. Dick or an Isaac Asimov does. However, I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of time because you know, even the books of hers that I've read, everyone has like duff books. So I think I've just read some of her not as good books maybe. This one, as I say, was just fine, but it, nothing spectacular. Uh, worth reading over a day or two if you fancy it and uh, yeah. So there we have it, that's what I made of City of Illusions by Ursula K. Le Guin. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.